Skip Johnson didn't think that there were jitters early on, but he admitted that maybe the game sped up on his team. So we'll see how the Sooners start. Was listening to Mike Bianco on the way home last night on the radio. He said it felt like it was a college football game, and it did. It's as loud as I've heard this stadium, and they have shown up again today. Some changes to it, but Peyton Graham still the star. They need him today. They certainly do. He, he came into last night's game on a 17-game hitting streak. Kid that didn't start the season in the starting role, reliever for a while. They worked him into the starting rotation as the SEC season went on. 0 oh, 2 from Elliott. Breaking ball pulled into center field of base hit. Spikerman singles with two strikes and the leadoff man is on for Oklahoma. A long hold and is 2 2. Strike three calls. And the fastball to Fan Graham. He said it just a minute ago man that fastball plays up and you go change up change up change up. So Peyton Graham understands what the book is on Hunter Elliott. The change up is his best off speed pitch. Elliott deals. Towards second. Chatier flips the turn in time for two. That is nifty glove work from Chatier to Jacob Gonzalez. You don't get this far without playing spectacular defense. Five and two with a 524. Who cares about the 524? It's the last month where Kate Horton has turned into a different arm. Yeah, we got Kim Balderman, Alderman highlighted because you see that note on the bottom. He is compressing his level. Last night he hit a ball 113. First pitch swing. Behind the third base bag, that is Peyton Graham who roams out. Here's his 1-2. Cut on and miss. Hung on to by Crooks. Looked like a 90 mile an hour slider. Because <laughs> that's what it was. <laughs> I'm not this one, KP. 2 2. And Horton strikes out two. And a 1 2 3 bottom of the first. Watch the arm get behind him. Mm. A couple of keys in the first two innings. 2 2 on the way. Roll toward first off the glove of Robertson and past Nicholas in the short right. A couple of ricochets there, and Kevin Graham is on to start the second. Horton's 2 2. Fastball indeed at 97. And Horton's 0 2. 96. And a fourth strikeout for Cade Horton coming off 11 at his first start here. He's kind of simplifying here. He get back and let it go. With two outs, the 2 2. And a fastball cut on and miss. 97 with some cut. And it's. Working out fine, and there it is again, 89 miles an hour. Elliott deals and strikes out Moody's. Three Ks in a row for Hunter Elliott. Payoff pitch to Pettis, and he takes low. He got on board a couple of times late in the game yesterday, and they've got him. Elko throws to second, Gonzalez the tag, and they get Kendall Pettis. The craftiness from the lefty Hunter Elliott wipes away Kendall Pettis. Like that, but bench into playable left field. Uh, Kendall Pettis. 2 1. Ooh. Is yanked to left, hooking away from Graham, but he runs it down. On the eighth pitch of the plate appearance. Ah. Fastball strike three called. For Ole Miss against Horton, starting with Jacob Gonzalez, who lines one into right field, a base hit. That is hard hit, and a leadoff knock, turning around 96 for Gonzalez. Well, we, we talked about the left handers. Horton's 0 1, 0 2. Another 0 2. 0 2 again. The 1 2 home. Horton deals. 1 2. <laughs> this fan base, it's nothing, nothing. And they're going to stand up and go nuts. The ninth pitch, pitch number 10. The 11th pitch ah. is strike three called. Horton wins the battle against Elko, and there is one away. <laughs> and this is not where you're trying to throw it. He's going to have to have something How that hit him. him. He's going to have Kevin Graham. something off speed that moves away from the left hand. Because those splits are just too varied. And the 0-2. There it is. Another fastball, 96, and a seventh strikeout of this fourth inning. Ground ball towards short, and Peyton Graham taps the bag for the force. 1-2 to Crooks. 
On the ground, right side. Chatier ranges to his left. He spins and he throws out Crooks. What a dandy by Peyton Chatier. Hey, now. Peyton Chatier putting on a show for us here this afternoon. We already saw the glove flip. Now the range to his left. Love the angle. A deep angle into shallow right field. And then the awareness. After review, the call to the field of out at first base is confirmed. A one two to Clark is popped up. Shallow right center and TJ McCants takes charge. Four weeks straight. That was better. Good to the glove side as you yes. said Berkey. 0 2 pitch on a check swing. McCants takes off and Horton strikes out McCants. Jack Doherty looks on after starting the game with five perfect last night. 1 1. And this is pushed toward first. Elko will take the sure thing. On a 1 2 pitch. This one kicks away from Hayden Dunhurst. Throw is not going to get him. It pulled Elko up, and Pettis is on, and Oklahoma's got him at the corners. Obviously the outcome. Now Spikerman squares, drops it down. Elliott goes to first and throws it away. Nicholas already in to score. Pettis stops at third, and the Sooners lead in the sixth. It's more of a philosophical debate. The question is here, is he, is he legal or not? Let's see as he gets closer to the base. He's not. He's not legal. By the rule, he's not. And the call in the field is overturned. The runner is out for interference. Runners will go back to first and third base. Mm. But when you go back and look at it, I don't know if if you can disagree with it. Steam All-American shortstop goes first pitch swinging in the air to right with Harris in. And Elliott escapes. What a shift here in the sixth in Omaha. One of those days that one run feels like a lot. Horton's 1 1. This is pulled deep to right field, back to the wall, and gone! The Rebels lead. Tim Elko with one down. First pitch swinging and he pops it up in foul ground. Blake Robertson can't make the play. 0-2. Elko on the screws, tailing away in right center. And Tanner Treadaway there for the second out. Going on in right field. First pitch swinging from Kevin Graham. Inning over, damage done. To come up with a few big swings. In the air, center field. And T.J. McCants Ooh. makes the play and hangs on to it for the second out. The, the, this vantage point sometimes shows you where there may be some trouble spots when the ball goes up into the air. I mean, both of these routes were a little bit deeper than they <clears throat> needed to be on a ball that... Hunter Elliott's 0-2 to Crooks is yanked to first, and that's a fair ball past Elko. Caroming off the sidewall. Harris's throw to second. Offline. Crooks is safe with a two out double in the seventh and just the second hit for Oklahoma. Four pitch walk. On the opening day in Omaha. First pitch swinging behind short. Graham coming on and it drops. A run in to tie the game and Oklahoma knocks it up here in the seventh. Heck of an outing from the rookie. He departs in a 1-1 game in the seventh in game two in Omar. 1-2 pitch. And that hits Orduno, and the Sooners have him loaded. After review, the call in the field is confirmed. Hit by a pitch, runner gets first base. He squares. Oh. Hit a little bit. 2-0 to Pettis. Ball four and Oklahoma leads. Two outs in the seventh. Made a big difference in this inning. That one is there. Freshman at the dish. This is loaded walk and now a 3-1.
Gaddis deals and struck him out. One two pitch gets Ooh. Alderman swinging. So the breaking ball punches <laughs> out Alderman for the third time and there's one gone. Unless he does that. He, he found that one again. <laughs> two two and another strikeout back to the slider for Cade Horton back to back punches and 11 total. Three two from Horton struck him out. And the Sooners line up and Robertson is on a one out walk. Crowd on its feet. Struck him out. Gaddis with a big K. Means has looked a little bit better than it did in the third and the fourth. And that makes you feel a little bit better. Elevated fastball down a few ticks from what it was early. He was 96, 97. That one's still 93, but good enough. One two pitch. Back at Horton up the middle into center. A one out base hit for TJ McCants. Tying run aboard for Ole Miss. How about the day from Cade Horton. He exits with a lead in the eighth inning in Omaha. Michaels 0-1 McCants goes and it's lined into right field a base hit. McCants speeds to third and gets a stop sign there and is 90 feet away from tying this game. His last two trips. First pitch swing and base hit right field. Gonzalez ties the game at two here in the eighth. And now look who it is. Tim Elko. A one pitch. Crosses up the catcher to the plate. Ole Miss leads. Justin Bench in from third on a cross up. Little roller left side at Graham, who will go to first. Crooks past him. Gonzalez scores, and the lead is two. Wow. Two two popped up left side. Peyton Graham calls for it. Johnson's two two strike three calls one away. Johnson deals struck him out. Two down one two pitch struck him out from last four in to last team standing. Ole Miss has won the College World Series. For the first time in program history. A month ago, you didn't know if you were.